What is up guys, I'm Glacio and today I'll be doing some more uh, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild in the last episode uh, We boarded Divine Beast Farm Meadow the second to last Divine Beast we'll be doing and uh, Now we have to actually do the Divine Beast so yeah, like Ravali said, first of all, we have to make our way towards the map. Uh, Puzzle-wise, this Divine Beast is also very easy. No hard puzzles can be found here, so... It's not even... I think it's the easiest in all categories. Anyway, there we go. Distill the map, please. Thank you. So, uh, the Divine Beast of our Meadow controls basically just allow you to uh, tilt it in one direction or the other. At your map of the divine beast. The terminals that will activate Meadow are marked by those glowing points. You'll need to activate all of the terminals to take back control. Think you're up to it. Oh yeah, dude. Uh, but anyway. Yeah, so you can tilt it in one direction or the other and that is what we're going to be doing. So, uh, three terminals are on one wing, two on the other. So, I guess we can. Which direction? Yeah, let's do this side first. Why not? Okay. Now, let's even it out. So, I think, yeah, this is where. You have to blow wind on these to get them moving, I think. Oh, this can be opened. There we go. That opens that, and now we can just stasis this. Oh, shit. Oh, I didn't exactly kill it. Now we should be good. Boom! Awesome. Okay. Like I said, not really difficult. Not, I mean, it's not very puzzling, is it? There are four terminals remaining. Still a ways to go. Okay. We have all of Daruk's protection. And we have Ruta's Blessing and almost a full health complement, so I think we might be good. Hey, fuck off, please. Oh my god, that chest almost dropped on my head. Oh, ten ice arrows. Oh yeah, right, this is a uh, Wind Blight Ganon, so you need arrows to deal with him. Yeah, I'd say this is uh, the only boss that you can't fight with melee weapons. Not really. I mean, you... If you only use melee weapons, I'm pretty sure it takes some damn ingenious gameplay to defeat him. Uh, arrows are your main weapon here. So, keep that in mind. Okay, now let's tilt you the other direction. Thank you. Okay, that's no big deal. We can always. So yeah, the head and the tail, uh, the tail and the legs. They all stay straight. Only the wings turn. Come on. It is a bit tricky because it is crooked, but I we did it. And boom. Goodbye. What do we have here? More arrows, maybe? 
Nah, oh well. I mean, I'm not complaining. Those are worth a bunch. Oh no, I fucked myself. Oh, oh yeah. Oh no. Oh, this guy's about to fuck me. What's hurting me? Oh god, I wasted so much health and the freaking blessing too. Well, that's mildly annoying, but I mean, he is the easiest boss in the game, so I think we should be fine. At least that's how I remember him. I I was I thought I wasn't in any goo. I was sure of it, actually. Okay, uh, we do this again. I think this will then blow the bomb over. Probably shouldn't be using that since it's damaged, but I mean, oh well. Uh, I guess we could turn it the other way now. I mean, Tilt Meadow the other way, probably. Guys, no, I can't do that. I think we have, may have to do this. Can I use uh, Magnesis through these bars? I don't think I can use it through this red stuff. I mean, I, that's probably there to block my Magnesis. Oh shit, it's too far to the... Come on, dude. Can I... Oh wow, okay, I can. I didn't expect that to work. Bong it down over here. And tilt the other way. And hopefully it doesn't go... Off the path, because if it doesn't, we should be... Good. There we go. Terminal number three. I think the last two are like below the wings, not in the wings. On either side, so we're gonna have to go underneath. There are two. Yeah, dude, I do know how to count. But thanks anyway. I'm trying to keep an eye out for loot, but I'm not seeing any. Any any kind of arrow support would be much appreciated. Come on, Link. There you go. Um, that's uh, the Guidance Stone. Oh, we got some paths down here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is where we need to go. Oh, okay, I remember this now. Okay, let's have a look here, shall we? Oh, God, I just have to shoot this eye. Oh, why did it go up? Oh, what the hell? Well, that was interesting. The, the arrow just randomly went... Can I blow it up like, from here? Oh, come on. It was totally in range. That was a bunch of crap. Just gonna try one more time. Oh, I fucked up. Well, I'm gonna have uh, two and a half. I'm gonna have three hearts for the boss, probably, because if I. Oh no, actually, four. Four hearts, but if I die, then it's three, so. Yeah, that's not too good. And, oh my god, I've wasted so much time. Thankfully, we do have Daruk's protection to protect us from any murder attempts, so. I'm not even sure if I can, like, 
I don't know. I'm not sure why it wasn't working before. Come on, Link. Get up there. Oh, there's a tower down there. That's the one I still need to get. What the hell? Why does it go up? Is it because the wing is tilting? Oh, I'm fucked. It, it's locked upwards. I can't even do anything. Okay, this is kind of actually starting to get annoying. It's not... It's not uh... Okay. Can you work with me, Bo? Please. Just shoot where I want you to shoot and it will be good. God. Finally. Thank you. Fucking hell, dude. Wasted so much time. It's okay, though. This episode will probably end up being pretty short anyway, so... Time wasting is not a con concern right now. Okay, there we go. And... Terminal number four is... Activated. Boom. Now we just have to repeat the process on the other just side, and we're good. <laughs> what do you know? Well, I mean, I know you doubt me, but come on, dude. I'm really glad I'm saving the hardest divine beast for last, uh, because I have a idea where we can get some very good weapons for it. Ew, hello. Don't like the look of you. Please be arrows, come on. Please be arrows. Ah, oh, god damn it. Ancient shaft. Freaking useless. Oh, I actually can't go here. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Do I have to go around the outside, maybe? I think I may have to. Uh, down here. Can I make it all the way there, maybe? Oh no, I fucked myself. Oh yeah, I'm I'm done. At least I can shoot this guy. I'm taking you down with me. Goodbye. So yeah, like I said, even. If you fall off a divine beast, you don't land down on the ground, you just... It counts as you falling in lava or something. Uh, where'd I go in? Duh, where did I go in? Oh. Well, okay. <sighs> Feels bad to be bad. Oh, you're still here, huh? I'm gonna break this on you. God damn it. Thank you. Oh, that killed him. Well, there goes the Claymore. Oh, I think I should be fine if I just tilt this and then jump. I should be good. I should be able to make this, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm making it. Beautiful. There we go. That's all the terminals. Now, all that I need to do is get back up there and the last kill the fuck. Now you just need to start the main control unit. I want you to take a good look at your map. There should be a new glowing point on there. Well, flap to it. I don't have wings, dude, as you very much enjoy pointing out. But sure, the, I'll accept the pun. Uh, I think we can actually use the... 
I mean, it doesn't matter. We can get up there. Oh, no. Oh, I may have... Oh, no, we're good. Okay, I thought I... Fucked up everything. Apparently, I didn't. Yeah, I think this has an updraft, actually. And yes, it does. Okay, let's do this. Frickin' wind blight Ganon. Ready to take him down. We have two and a half hearts and very few arrows, but I mean, that's, that's fine. is one of Ganon's own, and it plays dirty. It defeated me 100 years ago, but only because I was winging it. I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but you must avenge me, Link! So the trick with him is that he doesn't have a melee weapon, he has a cannon. And that's why he can't really engage in melee combat, because he's in the air all the time, and he's shooting you with tornadoes and cannon uh, fire. So, let's equip the... Go... Okay. Huh. Damn. The first time I died in a boss battle. Well, guess it was unavoidable. Okay, so he has two major attacks in his first phase. It's uh, just sh rapidly shooting out of his cannon and tornadoes that kind of follow you, but not really. Uh, what you want to do is do a rapid fire, arrow fire, like three times- Ooh, maybe I can get more arrows in that chest. What you want to do is do a rapid um, arrow fire, like three times in a row, and that will knock him on his ass, and then you can use melee attacks. You'll be kind of stunned for a while. Uh... This is going to be an issue for us, because we may not have enough stamina to shoot three arrows while in the air. I'm going to have to be very quick about this. Uh, but if you have more stamina, then it's no issue at all. Oh wow! Bomb arrows! Awesome! So, it's going to be a little tricky, because you want, uh, you don't want to use all your stamina. You, you want to shoot three arrows and then still have enough stamina left so you can run to him quickly. And we really have little stamina for this. Uh, but I'm going to try my best to do this. Uh, I'm going to first wail on him with bomb arrows, and then once I run out of those, I guess it's ice arrows or frost arrows. I'm not sure what they're called. I'm going to equip the shield. Yeah, frost arrows. Uh, the knight's bow, and here we go. His aim is dead on. Watch yourself. So he's gonna teleport over here. I'm gonna catch this drift and then as soon as possible start shooting him. One, two, three, quickly! Oh, I ran out of stamina. You see, this is not good because now I can't attack him with my melee. You can get what? Not not even one hit. God damn it. Oh, but that's the basic idea. And you have to hit him in the eye. That's crucial. One, two, we'll heal, you, uh, heal. Hear the little sound if it hits his eye. One, two, three, and drop. Oh, okay, that's awesome. That's what we want to be doing. One, two, three. Okay, he's like one arrow away from the second phase. So I'm just going to use regular arrows here. One. Oh shit, cannon. And two. Uh, now, in the second phase, this is where things actually start getting a little tricky. So these things 
they'll absorb his cannon fire, then shoot at you from all directions. They'll encircle you. Oh, that was a bit premature. God damn it. Uh, one, two, that was bad. That was very bad. I, I hit him three times, but I didn't hit his eye. So it was like nothing. Okay. One, two, three, quickly. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Two, three, four. Okay. He's almost done. Okay, so this is it. I I think I if I even get hit once, I'm dead. What is this angle? So yeah, the Rook's uh, protection will deflect any coming bullets into him. So that is just awesome. Guys, hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that, I'm back. Uh, this is actually the easiest part, just because I have uh, the Rook's protection. He's just going to deflect it back for me, so he can't even do anything. And now to finish him off. Boom. Like I said, he's pretty easy. Although he is the first one who managed to kill me. Uh, and as I'm sure you saw, there weren't too many chances to use melee weapons. I had to create my own opportunities by knocking him down. Goodbye. I didn't even use any of my frost arrows. The bomb arrows were just enough, so I'm pretty happy with how that went. Always try to save Daruk's protection for these bosses if you have them. If you have it, because then in their final move, when they go to shoot you with their guardian laser, you can just deflect it easily. You don't have to worry about it even. That's assuming you have Daruk's protection. And I'll take that extra heart. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hearts now. Freaking awesome. Boom. And let's activate the beast. Uh, oh, come on. You freaking tricked me. kind of like it's uh, the brain of the Divine Beast. Looks pretty cool. Well, I'll be plucked. Oh, here, here he is. Who would have thought? Well done. I suppose I should thank you now that my spirit is free. This returns Meadow back to its rightful owner. <laughs> Don't preen yourself just for doing your job. I do suppose you've proven your value as a warrior. A warrior worthy of my unique ability. The sacred skill that I have dubbed Ravali's Gale! It's now time to move on and start making preparations for Meadow Strike on Ganon. But only if you think you'll still need my help while you're fighting inside Hyrule Castle. Feel free to thank me now. And so we got Rivali's Gale. Oh, just go. <laughs> he is definitely my favorite champion. First, you know. Definitely my favorite champion. He's awesome. The princess has been waiting an awful long time. Oh yeah, she has. Certainly.
Well, guys, uh, that was Var Meadow. That's it. That's the Divine Beast. God, I can't believe I died like a noob. I mean, it doesn't matter, but still. I've been saying the entire LP how this boss is the easiest. Uh, how... Like, I've struggled with all the others, but I just killed this one like he was a joke. And then he ends up being the one to kill me. Ah, that's just irony. Each playthrough is different somehow. That is, again, very awesome. Isn't he a bit heavy for that? This rock beak, though? I feel like he would be. And shoot! Three out of four, guys. Three out of four. You'll have a precise speed on Ganon from this vantage point. When the time is right, give him everything you've got. Now we wait for that perfect moment. <laughs> Meadow, we've been artfully patient for the last 100 years. I doubt you'll suffer a feather over a few more moments. <sighs> After all these years, I simply must admit the truth. Even without the power of flight, Link made his way to this divine beast and accomplished something that even I could not. I guess I was wrong about how lucky he would be. Come on, admit it. I'm just good. Admit I'm good. No. I'd love to see, uh, like a hundred years ago, I'd love to see cutscenes where the champions fought the different a blight Ganons when they arrived on their divine beasts like Mipha versus versus water blight, Rivali versus wind blight and so on I'd love to see those fights how the how they uh, lost their lives that would be I don't want to say awesome because they died but that would be like cool to watch which again sounds wrong yeah yeah I survived I did it you know just give me the treasure and I'll be on my way Thank you. Hmm. Yeah, I've been told. So guys, that's gonna be it for this episode. Uh, what do we get? We get the Great Eagle Bow times three uh, arrows. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Leave a like if you have. In the next episode, we'll be making our way towards Varnaboris, the last divine beast. Anyway, I'll see you then. Uh, bye bye.